Hi guys, we will solve the lab blind SQL injection with conditional errors. The level of this lab is practitioner and the goal is to log in as the administrator user. Let us access the lab. Please make sure that you're proxying the traffic through Burp and in Burp activate the intercept is on button. Refresh the website and send the get request to the website to Burp repeater and deactivate the intercepts on button. Here in the cookie header, add a single quote at the end of the uh, value of the tracking ID parameter and send the request. You see we received an HTTP 500 internal server error. Add a new single quote and send the request again. And you see we received an HTTP 200 Okay, now I will skip some steps of the solution of the from the lab website. Um, we will look for a table in the database named user. For that, we add the following query: select from users where row num is equal one uh, send the request and you see we received an http 200 okay that means that a table named user exists in the database the part row num equal one prevent the query from returning more than one row, which would break our concatenation. Okay, the next step is to look for a user for the, for the user administrator in the table users. For that we add the following query. Select case when one equal one, then two char one divide by zero, else and from users where username is equal at Administrator. Okay. Send the request, and you see we received an HTTP 500 internal server error. That means that a user named administrator exists in the table users. Now we will look how long, how many characters the password of the user have. For that we replace uh, this part with length password greater than one then to char else leave the rest from the previous request and send this request to the application. You see we received an HTTP 500 internal server error. That means that the password of the administrator or of the user administrator is more than one character long. Okay, now send this request to Burp Intruder. Switch to Burp Intruder and open the positions tab click the button clear and set a mark at one and click the add button. Switch to payloads and here the payload shows in the payload set section the payload type and here click the numbers. In the payload options section click from one to 
25, step 1, and click the start attack. Okay. You see the first request starts at 0 and the last request ends at 19. And you see the length of the request or response is 98. That means that we received a 500 internal server error here at the 20th request we received in 200k. That means the password has a length of 20 characters. Switch back to the positions, click the clear button, and now we have to figure out which character is on which per position at the password. For that we replace the length expression with sub str password one dot comma one equal a leave the rest of the query as the last request. Okay. Now set a mark at the first one. And no, sorry. Set a mark at A. <laughs> Click the add button. Switch to payloads. And the payload set section shows the payload type simple list and in the payload option section shows this one and this one and start the attack. Okay. Open an editor and here look for the request with the smallest length, this one, uh, you see the request number 7 has a length of 98 because the response is a 500, a HTTP 500 internal server error and the first character of the password is G. Switch back to the position tab in Burp Intruder and change the First one to second, start the attack. You see the second character is four. Now in the positions change the two to three, start the attack. Two, close the window, change three to four. Start the attack. CA. Now we replace it with five. Start the attack. Okay. And six. Start the attack. Seven start the attack zero put the eight H nine start the attack. L ten is L eleven J twelve 
view. 13. View. 14. O. Fifteen <clears throat> P sixteen start attack C seventeen is L eighteen. Five, nineteen, six, and last but not least, twenty. This is C. Okay. Now switch to your browser. Uh, click at the My Account link and type in the user administrator and paste the password password paste don't save and you see we solved the lab 